Hello, it's Scott the Urban Beekeeper. We're going to inspect a drone laying hive. I don't know whether they're laying drones, whether it's a queen laying drones, or whether it's worker bees laying drones. There are ways to find that out. Let's see if we can. Uh, I started this from a package of bees, this hive from a package of bees, earlier this spring. Not being very gentle because I know that these bees are kind of pissy. They've never had a queen, I don't think. The uh, I really don't think that it's a uh, queen laying drones. I think it's a worker bee. And I'll have to find that out somehow. Let's find that drone cell that I saw in here a week ago. And see if we can figure out how and why it's laying. Who's laying the drone? Why are you doing it? Here you can see the frame. All kind of popcorned out, right? It's not a nice flat pattern. And it's popped all over. It's just crazy ugly with all that drone comb, right? So what we want to do? I'm gonna try and take it out in the sun. I'm gonna grab my magnifying glass. I'm gonna see what I can see. Couldn't see a thing. Got bad eyesight. Looking for eggs in the home and can't feel it all.
see it. And the beehive is almost dead. You can do what they call the shakeout method. Just go someplace, shake them all out, and let all the bees go find some something to do elsewhere. Let them get caught up in a different hive from drifting. So I would, but I think I'll just let them die. Unfortunately. And like I said, I couldn't see Dibbly as far as eggs or anything. Yeah, we'll be keeping this time, yeah.